Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome, welcome. The Witcher digital comic. That is what you're seeing on the screen. This is going to be basically episode zero for the upcoming Witcher 1. So the Witcher 1 series is coming as an LP to this channel. I can't wait to play it. Um, but I did get the Director's Cut DLC. And so I also bought two graphic novels. So I don't know if this stuff is included in the graphic novels or if this is fresh for the game. Before we play Witcher 1, I am going to check this out. And already, I mean, I'm already captivated just from the comic. I The music is crazy good to me. <laughs> and the fact that this is a comic, but it has this these effects on the cover. I, I, you didn't need to do that. I, just, I thought I was just going to read through a comic and, and give my feedback while... while uh, going through this experience. I've talked to people in the comments. Um, you guys are really good at keeping me protected from what the, the, the depths of the series are. But I do know that there's like a, a novel series. For, I'll probably buy novels at some point if I enjoy the games. I do have the graphic novels because Mike Mignola did the covers for them. So uh, yes, or he did the cover for the first one in any case. And that was an, a yes right away. Um, so anyways, uh, I do know it's sort of fantasy. I think it's sort of like rom romance fantasy mixed with monster hunting. So a little bit, bit of that darker edge that comes from things like Hellboy or something. Let's read the Witcher comic. I'm already wasting enough time. I just want to see what this is all about. Um, I'm okay. So that's by Witcher two. That's home. Let's check the menu real quick. Interesting. Uh, I can't scroll, but it feels like that's cutting off for me or is it just me I th this this is automatically went full screen for me I had no choice so hopefully it's not cutting up for you I mean it looks like it's like decent right there okay let's let's get going right I, I I hope everything's fine it looks right it feels right yeah the menus are down there we're good oh man is this is like got sound effects and music and what's going on <laughs> and music for this whole experience that's amazing well that's kind of confusing from a user experience perspective like previous why would previous go forward why would you do this but next is back i know it's probably the slide but that's just it's bad um it's bad ux i'm sorry okay whoa whoa cool are we there yet i like the approach here very much oh he's got sound effects in the background very good we are now is this a date that's going to go horribly wrong? Because why wouldn't it, right? I like the art very much. It, yeah. Very cool. I was going to make a reference there that would probably go over a bunch of your heads. But uh, I used to Game Master uh, a setting called Ravenloft. It was uh, a Dungeons & Dragons settings from the early 90s to the mid 90s. Um, and I, now there's there's that box game. There's there, there's a new adventure that came out. I mean, for those of you guys who, who are into gaming, you might get it. But anyways, the early art of Ravenloft, it was black and white art that sort of had... This immediately made me feel like um, it took me back to those days. And Ravenloft is like a gothic horror setting. And this isn't going forward, which is also disorienting. <laughs> are we done? <laughs> that was the comic four pages um yeah the hard edge inking and stuff very cool what the hell is happening did i freeze everything or what can i just hit arrows oh it did get stuck my okay whatever let's use the keyboard can i take it off now just a moment i want everything to be perfect oh got some sexuality kicking in what do we do no don't make me go back to the map what am i doing hold and move down Oh. Uh, uh, oh! Okay, there we go. I wasn't doing that to be a tease. It wasn't working. <laughs> That's a uh, oh! Whoa, whoa, hold and drag. Oh, this is interesting. Hold and drag. Dorian. What? What am I... The music picked up and it's really done. Dorian, hold and drag. Finally, Leviota's beer. Of course. Or, 
Or was he? Did he? Hold and drag. No, please, no help. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Well, it was blood before it happened. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. That was. Okay. Let's move it along. That was prologue, I suppose. Here comes our Witcher dude. Geralt. He is a Witcher, a mutant, a professional monster slayer. People seek him for his skill, but he has to get out of their sight when no longer needed. His blades are his lifeline. It's therefore unsurprising that Geralt's ability to wield them is renowned, or that very few are keen or even willing to risk their lives by engaging him in combat. Still, the Witcher prowess has not led to arrogance. Ultimately, he simply wants to survive while remaining true to his profession. Oh, I got that by click. Oh, could I have gotten that from the characters by clicking their head? <laughs> I want everything which are needed urgently. I'm just going to click all over the screen before I move it <laughs> got a feeling we'll get something out of this trip to the mountains roach call this horse roach no hold and drag oh that's not cool that's a that's a boy good job Griffin good job alas the knight of Povis returns to his tent defeated but fear not, spectators. Both people of Krigiao and guests from afar, this does not mark the tournament's end. Which one's the Castellan? Hold the drag. This way. Lazar? He's at the table. You're the Castellan. I'm here about the notice. Hold the drag. Am I pronouncing that right? Doesn't matter. Ooh, money drops. Okay, can't you see I'm taking bets? Slap his hands. Now entering the arena. The nobly born Baron Brighton, Lord of Krigiao Castle, heroic defender of Sodden Hill, dec uh, decorated for valor myriad times, and organizer of the tournament in memory of his father, Anton the Bearded. Can I click on him? No, so that was just a fluke. Go. Damn it, sometimes it just doesn't work. I said go. What's the contract for Castilian? That Griffin? Uh-oh. The Griffin, are you mad? Have you any notion how much effort went into capturing the beast alive? And how many men it mauled while being brought here from the Dragon Mountains? Listen here, mister. Uh, listen here, master. What's your name? Geralt. Listen here, master Geralt. That Griffin awaits the tournament's winner. That would be our gracious Lord Byron Brighton, it seems. And which uh, 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 Geralt's gonna step in or what? And you're not worried. I, I I don't know why I keep predicting things, but why why I'm, I I can't just read and find out. I, I always like to predict. Okay, I like to speculate. <laughs> and you're not worried that your Lord Baron will break his neck like the other night? As betting is closed, I can only say I would not wager on that happening. Hold the drag, and he charges. The monstrosity surely cannot survive this clash. Monstrosity's chain, though, which is unfair. Good thing that horse can't see where he's go where it's going. Nonsense! That horse, like its rider, has weathered more than one battle. Oops! Oh, I can just drag the thing with my mouth. Okay, let's try that then. Maybe that'll work every time. There we go. Hold and drag. Oh, well aimed. Bloody hell! Damn it, Marcus. Where are you? My lord? Finally. The prophet Libyoda guide my arm. Obviously, that's not fair. In a display of exceptional valor, Baron de Cregio continues to battle on foot. Once more proving that he has no equals in all of Meliore. Why am I sad for the Griffin? Master Geralt at dawn in the castle's chapel. Godspeed. 
Oh, I see the next. I can drag that way for it to go next to. It's just weird. It's weird. Oh. Oh. That, what? Are we done? No. Are we done? I was like, is that the beginning of the game? Why would you wake me at this ungodly hour, father? I wanted you to meet someone. Wait. An honor. Can I go now? Ah, see? Here he is. Witcher, this is my son, Marcus, the Baron's squat. Hey, youngsters, these days, I try to teach the kid manners, encourage him to meet people, build relationships, but he cares only for beer and wenches. Where are you staying? At the ripe grape. You are discreet, I hope. Indeed, a lot of strangers here for the tournament. Nobody asked me any questions. That's for the better. Come in, then. This is an interesting way to read a comic. To see is to believe, as the prophet says. Also, I believe the, uh, the philosopher Berkeley. Like the philosopher. Doesn't matter. This is the D. Grigiao family crypt. Behold, Baron Anton, the elder, known as the bearded. Okay, my trusted friend and father to the castle's current lord. In thanks for my ser my faithful service, he gave me his cousin Yana in marriage. He died at Aleshi's hand. It would be a decade ago. Aleshi. Sure it was Aleshi. Sure it was Aleshi. Not a ghoul, a wyvern, or a drowner. Oh, I'm loving. I'm loving the feeling of this lore right now. Like like I said, for those of you who know Ravenloft, the gothic horror setting from the early 90s, you, you will know how much this is already... <laughs> very much in the genre of stuff that I, I gush over. Why even children know that the Leshy, also called the Spriggan, oh, wood spirit sort of thing, prowls the forest as a giant cat or wolf. I saw the claw marks myself. There are no such animals here. A werewolf would be too obvious, right? And no one's tried to drive it off for 10 years. I can't believe the peasants haven't attempted their folk remedies. Don't be fooled by this cathedral of Libyota. The people here light candles to Libyota and burn incense for the Leshy. For the Leshy is House Krigau's protector, and the forest it sees fit to haunt is sacred ground. What in the hell? Besides, the Leshy can be dormant for years. Some new corpses appear just after Bellatin, Bellatin, including Dorian, brother to the Baron's wife, Lady Sir Sir Lay de Grigiao. Now I understand the secrecy. You want to dispose of this monster quietly. A hey, true. Reasons of state require it, and witchers kill monsters, right? Right. So maybe this small advance will help to allay any any doubts you have. Excellent. This way, Master Geralt. Uh, Geralt? Is it Geralt or Geralt? It's probably Geralt, right? Geralt. We'll leave by the way of by way of the walls. The Leshy disappeared after Yana's death, and we got to work to shake off the tragedy. Our wool has never been too profitable, but our timber is first class. Okay. So we gave our shepherds axes, and behold, you won't find a more beautiful city in all of Liore. The river that flows south from here is the Kriya, one of the brass tributaries. Ideal for floating timber swiftly and cheaply to the Gulf of Prixida. And from there onto Kovir. The sawmill, powered by water, it's become Greg Yao's chief source of revenue. This is interesting exposition, just throw into a monster hunt. <laughs> That's profitable. They don't have axes in Kovir. Like usually like I would hope that does this mean something? <laughs> they do. But it's a wealthy country. Lumberjacks there earn three times as much as ours do. So when all our so when so when all is added up, it turns out that we're cheaper. And to merchants, cheaper means better. I wish Marcus took a greater interest in these things, but the rascal thinks only of mischief. I indulge him, for he has shattered for he was shattered by his mother's death, but I don't know. How is he supposed to govern a land one day? You mean as the Castellan? Yes, as the Castellan, of course. Hmm. 
It's been two years since Bearded Anton died. While his elder son, Brighton, was waging war against Nilfgaard, Anton the Younger managed the estate. Can't say he was any good at it, and advising him was true hell. <laughs> Oh, this guy's the advisor, I see. Since Brighton returned to the castle, he has done all he can to pay off Gurgiao's debts. The sawmill was our only hope. And now, this Leshy has returned. Tried making offerings, maybe some rituals. We have. But when people began dying, the peasants decided they would wait out the Leshy's wrath. We've been waiting for three months now, and nothing, hence the notice. And here he is, the elder of the Lumberjacks Guild. Take this pig swill away, you shit eater, before I bruise your arse good. Mr. Hergen, this is the man. <laughs> Hear about the ruins, you know? Hear about the ruins, you know? I'll not go anywhere, the Baron said, to wait, so I'll wait. This is the dwarf. Mr. Hergen, get a hold of yourself. I tell you we must, and I say I'm not going, even if I'm treated to some Mahakaman mead. It's a dwarf. It's gotta be a dwarf. <laughs> yes, is it? Or is it just a big squatty dude? <laughs> big squatty dude. Superstitious twits and old women. If I summoned but a few lads from Mahakam, we'd deal with a plowing prankster in no time. But I still value my arse, blimey. Arse? Hey, arse, here, my dear Witcher. There is but one punishment for most crimes. A stake up the arse. You watch out, Geralt. That's actually, that was a torture device back in the old days. Uh, I went to a torture museum once and I covered it for this vlog a bit many time, many years ago, over a decade ago, when vlogs were like infants. Anyways, the, uh, it is a crazy torture device. It's a horrible thing. It's like a triangle pyramid thing and they literally would spike people through the anus and then uh, put weights on their legs and it would stretch out there. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I saw images that I, I will never unsee. If the serfs learn that you kill their sacred beast, things may turn nasty. <laughs> Damn it, Lazari went on and on about the secret, but neglected to mention the stake. Why the hell did I take that advance? Most would split now. You're clearly an honorable man, though, a witcher. People don't seem to like witchers, huh? I can't really blame the serfs for wanting no part in it. It's the nobles' business. And truth be told, the Leshy's mainly killing no kills nobles. The Leshy kills nobles but not serfs. Yeah, so I mean, why would... That's an interesting conundrum. Rumor is that the conflict between the brothers caused the Leshy, that son of a bitch, to run amok. Good twist here for sure. What conflict? Anton the Younger, the Brighton, and Brighton are stepbrothers. They issued from different mothers they've bickered since childhood. When Brighton returned from the war, there was peace between them for just a few months. Finally, Brighton could stand it no more and drove the rogue from his court. Anton is dead? Who killed him? That might have been bad positioning of bubbles here. Straight into death's embrace, as it turned out. Anton is dead? Who killed him? Depends on who you ask. I think his debts got him killed. A real rake that Anton was, or my name isn't Hergen Bolt. I inherited more than his name from his father. I knew both well, so I know. He liked to play dice and never passed up a wench. Napping on duty, you whore son. Anton was popular with the lasses too. They say it was on account of his strange eyes. One green, the other brown. Seems girls like freaks. Hmm. But what did Anton do to his brother? Did, the, did he plow the wrong women? I think that's going to matter the eyes. You pay attention to that. Brighton's wife? That is serious. Hey, he, he, you hit the bull's eye, Geralt. Geralt. <laughs> Brighton forgave his brother all his deeds but one. You see, Anton inflated... Lady Sir, oh, Sir Lady's belly. Ooh, awkward. Hurt his pride? You know, the belly's one thing, but Anton really hurt his brother's pride. And this contract stank of politics from the start. The castle and outright tricked. Hey, you see, Lady Sir Lady miscarried an earlier pregnancy, and Brighton, me thinks he's got problems with those things. 
Lazare? Nah, the poor chap has problems enough as it is. His boy flees the castle time and again. They're setting up a couple... A couple possibilities. It's pretty cool. As far as I know, he never forgave Lazare, not for avenging his mother's death. Instead, the old man brought the Leshy's... What is that? Votive. Votive gifts. The Leshy Votive? Is that the name of the Leshy? The Leshy Votive gifts in the hope of placating it. He needed the lodging to continue. Recently, the boy wanted to flee with Anton, but Lazare realized in time and restrained the snot. Lucky that... Lucky that, for he'd likely have ended up dead along with his uncle. Mr. Hurrigan, hip, we're ready and waiting. Are these mercenaries? Damn, damn, if only I'd known regret taking that advance. <laughs> so where are these ruins? Chapter 4. Uh, yep, it's fine. Creepy music, cued. Okay. A buffer too always helps, I suppose. Or is that something else? Okay. Oh shit. That stuff made him rage out or what? Marcus, what are you both doing here? Witcher! Get out of here. Did father send you? How did you know about the secret pass? Oh, they ran off. The Lashy's here, up a tree now. We'll not run, Witcher. You can't. Ca you, you can count on us. Oh, these guys are gonna get owned. I don't want to count on you. Damn it! Quick, get over here. Okay. Oh. Is that the Lashy? Is it? <laughs> I'm, I presume it is? You're not the one I'm hunting, kitty. Okay. I was like, that sounds like a weird... I was, I was expecting some sort of, like, lycanthrop or something like that. So, kitty's gonna get owned, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kitty. Is it done? By Labiota. I thought I'd die of... Okay. Look out. No! Oh! What the shit is this? <laughs> Try to draw along the line. I am trying. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that's cool and interactive. I, that's, that's a lot of fun. So is he like, he's alchemy based? Marcus, damn it. Climb a tree. Hold and drag. By Labiota's beard. What is that? Oops. This way. There it is. Lycanthrops. Call off your cats. I have no quarrel with you, Lycanthrope. Oh, this is taking me back, man. Have it your way. Hold and drag. Oh, snap. Guessing that blade is made out of silver? Yes. So well done, man. But I said, yeah, 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 fuck. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why did I have to swear? I was doing so good. Pow! Holy crap. What? Oh my god, you have to do this in game? <laughs> that would. I ain't gonna klutz up. Anton? <gasps> the eyes. Urgh. Who are you? I'm Geralt. I'm Geralt, a witcher. I took on a contract involving a leshy, but I guess that's out of date. Are you Baron Brighton's brother? Brighton hired a murderer? I might have expected that. Hey, easy. I'm not sure if he's if he knows you're prowling these woods. Oh, he knows. Who do you think placed this curse on me? The curse can be lifted. Why? 
so he can finish me off more easily, he should finally accept my challenge and face me in combat. And what if he gives uh, and what if he gives me a Werecat contract? Then we'll meet again, Witcher. But then you won't leave my forest alive. I don't know, he seemed to do pretty damn good there. I trust it is something important. You draw me away from my guests. This is Witcher Geralt Baron. I hired him to rid us of the Leshy. It's not a Leshy, my lord, it's a Werecat. A man who, has, who was cursed and became a lycanthrope, half man, half cat. What's the difference? After all the prophet Liviota said, Verily, verily I say to you, Thou shalt battle the devil and his minions, beast of all forms. It's your brother, my lord baron. Anton, he's alive. That's impossible. Indeed. My lord baron, he, he wants to challenge you to a duel. Absurd. I don't fight monsters. Unless they're chained. Aha! What did you say? That's right. My lord, the curse can be lifted. It won't right any wrongs, but it will solve your problem. Will it? And will my people forgive Anton for all the killings? After all, it's not its fault. It's not his fault. It was the curse. No, Witcher. For reasons of state, brother or not, the beast must die. You sons of bitches. So what the... What? Is this in the com is this in the comic I bought? Well, son of a bitch. Cool. Well, okay then. So, uh, fine. Don't tell me. Um, is this is this gonna be in the game? Okay. Don't spoil anything for me. I am going to be playing this game blind. But does this continue in the game? Don't tell me what happened. Obviously, am I gonna get closer to this? This will make me crazy. Okay, I need to know now. Do you understand? Or is this in the trades? Has anyone read the trades? I have the trades, but I don't want to flip through them because I, I don't want to spoil anything when I'm reading the trades because I would like to try to, to do something new for this channel with them uh, after playing Witcher 1. Okay, that's it for now. I, I really enjoyed that, though. I enjoyed the lore already. I don't know what the hell that... I'm guessing he's probably... He's not a mage, but I'm guessing he's he probably... He uses devices... Because he had a lot of like swords and shit on it, like he had a lot of stuff on him. Anyways, let me talk about what I like. I like the idea that it is someone who, I don't know how they're able to do it, but the Witcher is able, able to just take stuff and power up, <laughs> or something. Um, and then what else do I love? Uh, I already said the lore. Uh, I love gothic horror stuff. I didn't anticipate such a gothic horror-y vibe to this, um, even though it's set in a very fantasy um with romance undertones for sure but it's it but it's got that dark undertone because of you know even how it started um and the music helps for sure it's got a little bit of that gothic vibe to it too but you know that it's like it's like this love scene and you know something's about to go down and then boom they get killed um and then it's the idea of like even just what was behind the the the, the story here where it's like a brother gets the wife pregnant or was it before it was a wife but in any case the partner so like there's like this love triangle -y thing that happens that's so very gothic horror -y. like that's one of the that's one of the staples good uh, gothic horror story is that you make a care you make the you make the tragic villain it's so good if i ever tabletop gamed again it would it would probably be in a gothic world setting um and after just reading that comic i'm like i don't know enough about this world but i'm now part of me is like man would i dare do a tabletop game set in the wizard universe because i feel like i would still have a bit of that ravenloft like experience because i i play i did a lot with that setting but it has a little bit of that you know i can i can pull i can pull on a lot of um a lot of experience from my past with that gothic horror tabletop stuff so I don't know, I see some potential here, and I'm just, I just read the comic, I still have to play the game. So I will see you in the game, folks, don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, peace.